Dear Superman, please make me better. <laughs> Amen. Hello vlog watchers slash Smeggies. I'm still ill. Uh, look, let me just show you something. I am wearing white socks. The only time I wear white socks is when I get up. When I go to work. <laughs> what? The only time I wear white socks is when I'm at work because these are my work socks basically. I don't like wearing white socks when I'm out and about because that looks weird. <sighs> you can tell I'm still ill. Am I losing my voice? Anyway, last night I couldn't sleep, I was still awake at half past three in the morning, but that's, that didn't deter me, I thought I'm going to be back to work today, I'm determined to go back to work. I got up this morning, straight away I'm getting dressed, I'm like, oh. put my white socks on thinking I'm going back to work. About ten minutes later I was downstairs doing the dishes, I don't know what it is, while I'm doing the dishes, my head starts spinning again. And my first thought now all of a sudden is that it's the heat from the water going into my head. Might be that. I don't know. But as soon as that started happening, I'm like, crap. And that's how I feel. Crap. I've decided not to be a negative Nancy and start just doing the same thing I've been doing for the last few days of watching. Well, I'm still going to be watching Cheers and Knight Rider and Smallville and, and probably Rocky 3 actually. I've decided to do something different. Seeing as I can't leave the house, I'm going to show you what I want to do to the house in the future. Not any time this year. Some of it might happen this year. Some of it might happen in five years or whatever. But I'm going to start with my bedroom. Well, I should not do them jumps. Oh, anyway, let's get some light in here. Not that much. The things I want to do around my house. For starters, I really really do not like these mirrored cupboards. What I want to do is get rid of them so I can put my bed up against this wall and have a cupboard over here. Now the thing is, can't have it too wide, I'm out of breath because <laughs> of this vent. Also because this only goes so far out, I think I measured it to, what was it, 18 inches or something? I'm not really sure. Let me just show you something. Regular everyday coat hanger just fits. That's not good. Essentially that's what I want to do, so I can have the bed over here. Because there's really only three positions I've ever had that bed. Where it is now, uh, the back end against that wall facing that way, or on the radiator facing that way. That's not very good. Especially when the radiator is on and I can't put my head against it, obviously. And I wouldn't mind having my blinds, or some blinds back up. I used to have blinds up on the window here. And of course, you know, wallpaper. Get rid of the, I like to call them dildo rails, they're actually called dado rail, rails, I call them dildo rails. <laughs> I can't laugh. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I'm better. Uh, and of course, get rid of this polystyrene and change the colour of these doors, the peach. I didn't make it that way. On of course... The carpet I need a new carpet anyway let's move on now I'm not really sure what I want to do with the bathroom apart from alter the curtains get rid of this wallpaper maybe new flooring that's not so bad but maybe more of a sort of grayish blue color I don't know and people always say oh you've got a corner bathtub yeah it's not big enough for me to be honest I prefer them bigger so that's something else I want to try and work out and of course I need a new shower because that one just, well it's dead. And of course the door won't change in colour again. And, again, polystyrene. The people who used to live here, what were they thinking putting polystyrene everywhere? Look, uh, the toilet, maybe a new toilet, I don't know, it's, it's fine. Oh, it's getting mucky again. But again, new flooring I'd like, and maybe new wallpaper, get rid of the polystyrene. That light's fine, I like that. Oh, and definitely new curtains and change the colour of the door. In here, a lot of things I want doing. Of course, wallpaper, ugh, curtains, maybe get rid of this cupboard. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided on that one. But the major league thing that needs going is all that polystyrene up here. That's just 
keeps the room warm but yeah and of course this carpet you've probably seen these squares before the reason for those squares is the people who used to live here had fish tanks everywhere there was one great big fish tank up here in fact I think there was two if I'm not mistaken and that's what's caused the patterns on the carpet to be honest I don't really take much notice of them anymore it's only just now that I'm looking at them like oh right yeah why don't I ever really notice them huh. and of course this carpet I'm not sure about removing that ceiling stuff because it's quite nice maybe paint it I like this uh, get rid of the polystyrene again get rid of this wallpaper and that and the dildo rail <clears throat> keep the posters obviously because you know they're amazing <laughs> change this curtain okay down here again pretty much the same as what I've just said on the stairs including the door talking of doors this door wants replacing more more for the handle but I actually want a new door uh, maybe repaint them I don't know and so we're back to the kitchen what I would love to do is have a complete overhaul of this kitchen but like I said a few days ago that boiler's going and I will have a new boiler chances are it's not going to be going in there because I might be using the same person that Joe and Pete use for their bungalow and their boiler as you saw is up in the loft so mine could end up in the loft I'm not saying it will it might end up in another cupboard or it might end up in the hallway cupboard whatever I don't know but either way that boiler's going this year at some point but I'd love to be able to have a great big proper fridge freezer instead of this small thing here okay let's go to the living room curtains they need to go carpet needs to go people have said to me get rid of the fire I like my fire and they said get rid of this wall I like that wall I can pour my stuff on it so maybe maybe not but I do want a new sofa as much as I love this sofa it's very very comfortable by the way especially for napping it's too big. I don't know if I've told you this. Oh, I've just noticed my bin's full again. I tried moving this chair into that corner and then move the sofa away. I put it across here. It looked horrible. I brought it, I put it outside of the chair this way. It stuck to about here. It, it was too close to this archway. I didn't like it. But I still want to put that over there. Now, if that was a two-seater sofa, it'd have worked but it's three so eventually new sofa for now the office is fine it's just wallpaper once redoing and maybe repainting this <coughs> Urgh, I keep coughing stop it and then there's the major league troublemaking I can't open my door there we go stuff now shh. so yeah if I got the new fridge freezer that can go bye bye I'd, I'd love to be able to have my washer in here with the dryer which means having all the waterworks redone in here and if anything if anything I would love to be able to get this conservatory taken down and rebuilt bigger and, and a lot warmer as well which also would include getting rid of this carport maybe get rid of all this grass and um, what do you call it uh, deck it, uh, decking, I want decking there <laughs> I'd love to be able to get rid of all that hedge all the way around the garden and replace it with a six foot fence and those two trees, especially the man-eating tree bye want to get rid, because that tree don't know if you can make it out from here, hold on oh, you see that bird, right next to him to the left there that slab is stuck up that's because the tree is growing underneath, it's pushing it up and that's pretty much why I want to get rid of that and finally, this this is going to be a long video. That's my front garden, obviously. Uh, let me do it from upstairs, I can't see it properly. I would love it very much to get rid of all of that, pave it over, have a gate up to where my drive goes, and then I can have this as a drive and I'll be able to have two cars on it. Not that I've got two cars, but you know if I've got somebody visiting, they can park right next to mine. And not have to put up with parking on there. I'm shooting this window, it's cold. And those are my plans, hopefully, for my house and around the house. And I've done nothing <laughs> since I moved in. And I have a lot of people, like Joe and Stacey, saying, when are you going to decorate your house? Meh, I don't know. Right, I'm now going to go sit down. Now time for some sandwiches, non-sponsored Mountain Dew, and 
Rocky 3, which I do believe I have actually seen this one because I was a big fan of the A team when I was young. So I'm quite certain I've seen this one. I'll see. If I had to review it, <coughs> excuse me, I don't think I have actually seen that to be quite honest. I thought I had, or maybe I've seen some of it, I don't know. It was definitely a lot fast paced than the first two. I think it's actually the one I like better than the others, although it didn't feel like there was much dramatisation in it. It wasn't as long as well. I enjoyed the fight with Hulk Hogan at the beginning. That was kind of cool. And Mr T, he was a good bad guy. And one last thing, I couldn't help but think that most of the way through the film, especially at the end, maybe Rocky and Apollo should get a room together. Yeah. Now... I think I'm going to face... Well, I, I, I do love my ironing, but I've got this, this mucus thing going on. So I'm going to attempt to get that done. Because I don't want to be just sat here the entire day like I have since... Sunday? What day is it? Well, I've made some sort of dent in the ironing, but I'm actually starting to get a lot, well, a lot tired. I've just had to sit down. My head feels sort of light and heavy at the same time. I don't really know how to explain that. Sort of like, like my head's floating, but it feels like there's something sort of sat on it or weighing on it, but on the inside. This flu is kicking my butt, but I'm going to persevere and, you know, What's that? Willpower. Get willpower to help me get through this. I'm just going to have a few minutes to sit down and have another bottle of unsponsored Mountain Dew. Um, that's cooling down. It's stopped working. Um, maybe it's the fuse. I can't be fused because I've just plugged it in there and it's working. What's going on here? Something tells me there might be something wrong with that plug or it's just... <sighs> I'll figure it out. One way to test to see if your iron's working. Just do this for a minute. And eventually that orange light should come on. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. I've changed its fuse. I'm hoping that's what the problem was. We'll see. I done did it. And the thing is, I kind of realised, I should have realised even, that there was something wrong with this iron because when I first started, I noticed the water level wasn't dropping as fast as it usually does. And it never occurred to me. And then all of a sudden I realised it had stopped working properly because it was leaking everywhere. And now I've changed the fuse, that water level's dropped rather quickly again. Which means it's fine now. <sighs> I'm gonna sit down now. Yeah, sure, why not? I know I shouldn't, but nom nom nom. Remember when I tell you that my brain is <whistles> cocka? And I've just had that pizza, haven't I? I've just finished eating it, I'm thinking, it doesn't taste quite right. Have a look why. What's that say? Used by 16th of December. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to end up with food poisoning or something. I know this because my defences are already down because of the flu. I'm an idiot. No words can describe how stupid I feel right now. Let me just show you something. Storage. Keep refrigerated. Suitable for freezing. Freeze on day of purchase and consume within one month. Once defrosted, do not refreeze and consume with it within the one day. Yeah, that word. I got it out of the freezer. I'll be fine. It probably tasted funny because of my flu. I knew I should have ordered a takeaway. Right, I'm going back to Smallville. Leave me alone now. I've, I'm, I've done being stupid for the day. I hope. Hmm, I wonder what this is all about. Well, that was an interesting show. I wonder what this one's all about. Judging now how much recording at time I've got left on the camera, I'd say today's video is going to be quite big, so I'm going to finish now. Also, because I don't want to do anything else stupid <laughs> and record it for you guys. Ah, oh, my brain, it's just completely... 
like or something like that anyway I don't know it's very slow very jumbled addled oh talking of that before I go I, I said my brain was addled yesterday and I kept thinking is that actually a word or something I've made up so I looked it up it is actually a word so I was surprised by that anyway I'm going until tomorrow peace out something just banged upstairs yeah that just fell off of there ghost is back and that happened whilst I was editing this video that's your bonus <laughs>